All right, it's been one <coughs> of a year. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever it is you're watching this. This is my year in review. But first, Gina and I are gonna get breakfast and coffee. So let's ride and then we'll get into it. First, I want to say thanks for watching. For those of you of for those of you have subscribed, for those of you that have subscribed, appreciate you hanging in there. It's been a interesting year. First off, I joined YouTube back in 2006, making little skate videos here and there. It was fun, YouTube was growing, and then I got off the video train and quit doing much for video. Focused more on things in my life. But at the start of 2018, I decided to try something new and really get into vlogging. Over the last several years, Gypsy and I have traveled all over the world, and I did video here and there, in Egypt and other places, but I never really put it all together. travel vlog this year was my dad, my best friend Thomas, and I kayaking down the Buffalo River and camping. Fun trip and I hope we get to do it again in 2019. But one of the first things I did this year to get this started was I bought a Canon G7X to start vlogging with. It's kind of the go-to vlogging camera because it's got the ability to flip up the screen and film yourself. And that made a first good vlog because I ordered the camera and it was supposed to come in and then I don't know, I don't know where it got lost, but it was, I mean, the title of the video is, where is my f camera? Then I continued the vlog with doing the CrossFit Open for 2018. <laughs> I've gotten older. Things have gotten tougher to do. So it was an interesting experience to film each workout and then post each workout. I'm not the best at fitness, but I'm sure not the worst. But it makes me feel good, so I continue to do it. My main focus of the year for vlogging was my weekend warrior projects. There's always something to do around this house, whether it's the garden or the garage or whatever. I just like to do things around the house. I mean, it's. It entertains me, it keeps me moving, it's it's fun to me. Whether it's garden projects or woodworking or fitness or whatever, I just keep, I like to keep moving. The other things I've done is uh, product reviews. I did a review that's still growing on my Compex EMS. I've done reviews on Remy Pro sunglasses Titan fitness equipment. There's a few others I filmed that never really came to fruition. But I, 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 I keep trying. Uh, I like to do things simply. I hate watching reviews of products that just give so much detail it bores the crap out of me. I like reviews that are simple and easy and just give the person's honest feedback of a product. I buy things, I like them, I dislike them. I just want to give my honest opinion on things, keeping it simple. One big project I had this year was the start of my garage gym. Um, I left my CrossFit box in the middle of the year and wanted to do something new. I started street parking, which I've really liked. Nice online programming. 
and I can do it at home and not be concerned about not really be concerned about waiting on other people or competing I'm just competing against myself which is which is the main goal of fitness which is the main goal of my fitness is competing against myself so I've slowly started converting my garage into a gym Round off the year, Gypsy and I went to Mexico for a week. It was a nice relaxing vacation, enjoyed it. Um, those videos are coming up soon. I'll have four or five or more videos for that travel series. <laughs> and also I went to my first Ikea. Before Christmas, I went and saw some friends in Memphis. I meant to vlog about it and started vlogging about it. But I went to Ikea for the first time, got lost twice, got the obligatory plant and a few other things. Um, interesting trip. I'd like to go back with more time. Hung out with friends in Memphis, drove up to Little Rock, hung out with my parents, didn't really vlog the entire time I was there. I got some drone footage. Towards the end of the year, I graduated to a DSLR. I'm not quite sure if I'm keeping it yet. That's a decision I haven't quite made fully yet. I mean, I pulled out the box and thought about selling it and get something like the Canon M50. But as I said, I haven't really made a decision on that yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Maybe the little bell if you have any interest in seeing any more videos. And see you in 2019. I'm a